Hey guys, it's Carissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel Inky Fairy Designs. Today is Saturday, so I have another card making video for you. Um, these stamps are from W plus 9 and I just got them. So pulling out of my brand new stash again. I haven't been able to resist, but W plus 9 has, is like one of my all-time favorite stamp companies and they finally had a release of some stamps that I just had to get and I thought this one would be great and I figured I would go ahead and use the third ink that I picked up from ink on three this is the embossing ink and I thought you know it just it kind of turned into a theme where I'm using each of the inks uh, for the videos on Saturdays and testing them out and seeing what I like so this is the stamp. It's called He is Risen and I wanted to use it today because Easter is next week and if you guys are inspired by this video and want to pick up this stamp, I wanted to give you guys plenty of time to get it before Easter so you can make some cards. These sentiments are awesome. It comes with this huge background stamp of florals and that's what I'm going to be focusing on in this video. So I am stamping on some Fabriano hot press watercolor paper it's 140 pound and so that's why I pulled out my misty um, be, because it's watercolor paper it doesn't have all of the texture because it's hot press but it's also a very large stamp it it uh, fits an a2 size panel perfectly so it's about four and a quarter by five and a half sized and so I just uh, want to be able to stamp that more than once if I want to and I'll be honest when I did stamp this the first time I don't think I needed to do it a second time uh, when I looked at the panel afterwards I it looked great I thought it looked really well covered and saturated so I pulled out this wow embossing potter <laughs> potter powder uh, it's called Atlantic sea spray it's been one of my favorites but I've been hoarding it uh, I do that too much, but it's so pretty. It's like this um, very soft blue with uh, flecks of glitter, gold glitter in it, and it's just really, really pretty. So I thought that would be fun to emboss and create, like fill in the background. And then what I wanted to do, and the reason I used watercolor paper, is I do want to watercolor those flowers. So here's a little close-up. You can see the... Uh, embossing powder just melting away uh, one of the tips when you are embossing and I think it's hilarious that my misty uh, tool my misty magnet is on my heat tool if you count if you caught that those things are so strong they will uh, snap onto anything that that's um, magnetic anyway so one of the tips for embossing that I have is let your heat tool heat up a little bit. Give it, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 seconds before you bring it to your panel and that will make it nice and hot and um, the, you'll see that the powder will start to melt immediately. So here is a close up of that beautiful embossing. It really took the detail nicely of all of those flowers and I just love the shimmer of that powder. So I'm happy <laughs> with that embossing uh, ink. It's, it seems to be pretty awesome, just like the other two ink on three stamps uh, inks that I got. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to use my silver black velvet brush as always. I'm using the number six round. I've got a couple jars of water there. These are the colors I'm using. I'm going to start with the lavender and then um, add in some shadows with the amethyst genuine. They are both watercolors by Daniel Smith. Oh, and there another magnet got stuck to that. Hilarious. Um, yeah, those misty magnets. Mm, my, my kids have fun with them too. Uh, my boys like to intentionally stick them together and then try to pull them apart. So far, I haven't lost any magnets yet. So I'm just mixing up some of the colors, um, just that color uh, lavender. I'm not mixing up any colors, but just um, watering it down basically on my palette. And I will have a link of all of the supplies, including that um, large rectangular uh, palette that I like to kind of 
put my my colors in. I know I had a couple questions last week about it, so I do have a link to it on Amazon. And I am using affiliate links. Um, you know, it's just to help support my art, help support this channel. Uh, if I can, I will put affiliate links in the description box below. If I don't have an affiliate for, like, say, the stamp company, like I'm not an affiliate with W Plus 9, I'll still have the link to that stamp um, on the description in the description box below. It just won't be an affiliate link. So some of them are affiliate links and some of, and some of them aren't. But anytime you click on one and purchase uh, through an affiliate link, that really helps me support my family by doing these videos for you guys, which I love. So I'm going in and I am doing a few different techniques. I had it slowed down a little bit in the beginning so you could kind of see um, it was still sped up two times uh, faster than the original, but now it's sped up four times just because this took a long time for me to color, um, and it really isn't that complicated. I would do a wash of um, some cleaner water, and then I would drop in some of that color kind of like on the outside and the inside of the petals, uh, leaving some white space in the middle, and then I just did that all around the entire stamped image. Now I'm coming in with the Amethyst Genuine, and I wanted to deepen up the middle of each of the flowers and so there's two different like flowers I can tell on this one there may be three but there's like an open beautiful open bloom and then there's like a couple buds and then maybe some side turned flowers on this image and so I just tried to pinpoint what would be the middle and I uh, added some I kind of wet my paper just slightly because I didn't want to really reactivate the uh, lavender I wanted it to kind of glaze on top and then I would drop in that darker color directly from my pan so it would be nice and deep and let it kind of move on its own throughout the image and so that's what I did for the rest of the panel very simple these I made two different cards I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning you saw the two cards I made one I uh, embossed like this with the pretty like color embossing and then watercolored in the middle um, and it's super I mean it took me a little while I think it took me maybe about 20 minutes of footage I think I had of just coloring this panel and a lot of it was done I wasn't even in the frame so I cut all that out so you get the idea of how I actually color each of the petals here and then the second card I did I had an idea of um, stamping and white embossing it on the same watercolor paper and then doing some distress oxide ink blending so I'll show you that but yeah I mean I was able to get two cards in a relatively short period of time they both have a little bit of a different look but they're the same uh, layout so this is the white embossing powder I have. It's by Zing. It's so old and I do need to replace it. If you guys don't know what uh, embossing powder does have a shelf life. So if you've had embossing powder that's like five years old or even older and you're finding or you're getting frustrated with your embossing, you're like you're not getting a good um, Im image embossed, I would get some new embossing powder and try it again because it's not it's probably not you it's probably your supplies have um, passed that shelf life and they're just not going to work as good as a newer um, product so I do need to replace that white embossing powder and it's actually I'm all it's almost out so it's time to get a new one anyway but it worked for what I wanted uh, and I was I, I'm happy with the result so I'm just doing that embossing and I think I show you a little bit of a close-up you can see all of that beautiful texture and so now I'm bringing in some distress oxides I have abandoned coral to start with um, this is one of my favorite kind of like um, warm tone I guess colors very uh, peachy reddish coral like the name but it's really really pretty I love it and then I was gonna do the entire panel with this color um, but I was kind of thinking about it and then I decided I wanted to bring in a yellow so um, I think I bring in um, 
spiced marmalade, which is kind of like a yellowish orange. And I end up doing the other half of the panel with that and blend them in the middle. And I just think that turned out really pretty. It was a good idea uh, just to give this panel a little bit more um, interest. So it wouldn't just be one flat color. Um, I have these two blending into each other. And had I thought about it ahead of time, I may have done the blending from top to bottom instead of like side to side. But I think it still looks pretty cool. It's definitely um, different than what normally what you would see. So the great thing about the white embossing and doing some ink blending on top is that you can just wipe that away uh, with a baby wipe or like a damp paper towel and wherever it's embossed that ink is just going to wipe right away and so it comes back super bright and then all you see is the color underneath you know where the flowers are. So I dropped in some water with a paintbrush just to kind of activate the uh, oxides because that's kind of the cool thing about them and um, yeah that vanishes of that panel you could see here a little bit of the different texture and everything the really pretty white embossing and these this this panel is like awesome i can see i have so many ideas for this i'll probably make a few more easter cards this week to mail out i just probably won't film them for you guys um so here i am i am going to do some more embossing because today is the day of embossing and i pulled out some black cardstock this is just uh recollections black cardstock pulled out my EK success um, powder tool because I wanted to kind of eliminate some of that excess uh, you know when the when the embossing powder can stick around uh, your image especially on a dark paper I'm gonna emboss in white again on the dark paper and I want to make uh, the same sentiment for both of my cards so I just flipped my paper around and stamped it again and that was perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my scratch paper. I always like to have scratch paper so that I can just fold it up and put it all that um, excess back into the bottle. I cut that out, but just know that I'm not wasting it and I do fold that paper up and funnel it back into that little bottle. Um, I just figure you guys don't need to kind of stick around and watch that step some of the powder did stick even though I used that emboss or the um, EK success tool uh, some of it still did kind of stick around where I didn't want it so I just take a small detail paintbrush and it's dry and I just brush it off sometimes I'll blow on it as I'm brushing it off um, that tends to help too so now I'm gonna go ahead and emboss this. Again, I let my heat tool heat up, warm up for about 10, 10, 15 seconds, not very long. And then it will just immediately, once you bring it to the cardstock and it'll just melt that right away. And you can, I tried to get it up closer so you can kind of see the really magic of embossing. I love that. I just love seeing the powder melt and create this really cool thing. So what I've done is I have die cut my uh, background panel with the My Favorite Things Blueprints 15, the large rectangular stitched die in that set. And then uh, for the sentiment, I used the W plus nine gift card layers die. There was one of the like larger, smaller ones that fit perfectly. And um, I popped that up with some dimensional foam tape on my card. And that's it, so simple very very easy to create I think the backgrounds really steal the show um, I love the sentiment for Easter um, I actually think it would look great in um, Bible journaling as well so I'm probably gonna be using the stamp a lot and the stamp set has some like singular flowers as well if you wanted to do something like that you can check out the W plus nine blog for um, a lot more uh, inspiration and amazing cards so thank you guys a lot for watching today, uh, wraps it up, and I hope you enjoyed today's card making video. Be sure to check out Jessie's channel, I'll have a link at the end that you can just hop on over there and see what she's created today. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That just uh, helps me and supports the channel and lets me know that you like to see more videos of this. 
If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button. I'd love to have you back. I have a lot of variety here. I have mixed media. I have watercoloring and card making. Something for everyone. So I'll be back on Monday with another Mixed Media Monday video. Until then, guys, do something creative today. Bye.